What's up guys, it's Grant. Today I'm going to show you guys how to throw the bow staff in the air. Baby! Hit it. What's up guys, it's Grant. So as I said, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to throw the bow in the air. There's a couple different ways to do this, but today I'm gonna to start by showing you guys the very first way that I learned how to throw the bow in the air, and it's probably one of the easiest ways. So guys, as I said in a previous video, I wanted to show you guys how to throw the bow up in the air regularly. I mentioned how I showed you guys how to do a couple different advanced moves like the 360, the 540, and things like that, but I never actually showed you guys how to throw the bow normally, so that's what I'm gonna to do today. So guys, as always, before I throw the bow in the air, I always like to just do the behind the back. Obviously, most of you guys probably already know how to do that, so we'll skip teaching that portion. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a tutorial called the behind the back, I believe, on my channel, and you can go and watch that. And that goes through how to move the bow behind the back and make it smooth as well. So we'll skip that part for now. So guys, after the bow is behind our back, we're gonna bring it out right in front of us until it's flat, just like this. So as you can see, my palm is facing the right side, or it'll be your guys' left side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep twisting the bow all the way until it's at the point where I can't twist it anymore. As you can see right here when my palm is basically facing the ceiling, I kind of have to open my hand up. And as you can see, it rotates over until it's just my thumb on top. Now that's probably the hardest part for new students because this is very difficult to do unless you're very flexible with your wrist and unless you have a lot of practice doing this specific move. So as you guys can see, this looks like a super uncomfortable position, but it's just gonna be super quick because this is where we throw the bow from. So right from here, all you literally do as the bow is going to keep spinning is you're just going to toss the bow in the air just normally and obviously with the momentum you'll get more spins and you'll throw it a little bit higher. Try not to throw it too high and throw it with at least some speed but at first you don't have to go you know, a crazy speed. Just get the hang of twisting the wrist around just like this and then throwing the bow up in the air and catching it with your other hand. So guys, right from the start, starting from when I have the bow behind my back, I bring it out again until it's flat. That's when I start to rotate it this way. It keeps going, keeps going, opening up all the way until again, that thumb is on top. And I kind of have my finger out a little bit as you can see here, my first finger is just out like this. I do that just to hold the bow better and it makes it easier for me to throw the bow in the air and get that spin when I actually throw it up in the air. So guys, that's literally how to do it. It does look a little bit easier than it actually is, again, only just because it's super simple up until this part where you have to open up your wrist. Once you get that down, the rest of it is super easy because literally all this part is is just twisting the bow. And then once you get it down to this spot, again, all you're literally doing is throwing the bow up in the air and catching it. So, you know, if you have decent hand-eye coordination, you should be able to do that pretty easily. And again, the first part of it is gonna be easy. So it's really just the switch in this spot, which is the difficult part to do in this move. So guys, that's it for the video today. Hopefully this comes easy to you guys. I know uh, for those of you that have watched like my 540 and 360 tutorial videos, you guys probably already know how to do the regular throw because obviously you need to know that before you move on to harder moves within this, uh, I guess, area of moves. But if you didn't and you're now learning this today, best of luck with this. As always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments section down below or in any form of my social medias. They're always listed in the description down below or you can find them at the top of my channel page. But that's it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.